welcome to Lot With Me. Today, I'm going to bring you to Operating Theatre. But before that, do show some support by clicking the like button. Let's go! So Operating Theatre, in short, we call it OT, is a very clean area. So before you enter, you must first change into OT attire. on the supply room. So all the sterilized supply and also instruments, items are all well packed here and organized so that the staff on duty can actually grab whatever they need prior to the surgery. During the surgery, there might be some extra items needed in which the OR nurse will be out from the OR room to get the necessary from the supply room. Wow, there's so many instruments here. I am actually feel really amazed. Like you have eye accessories, you have a suture scissor, you have a sinus forceps. Wow, I can't mention all of them. All the instruments that I just showed you are all reusable after proper sterilizing. So, after each surgery, all the instruments will be sent here to be cleaned and sterilized at CSSS, which is sent for Central Sterile Supply Service. Cleaning can be done in two ways, which is manual cleaning or by mechanical cleaning. For mechanical cleaning, we have two types of machine, which is automatic washer and dryer and ultrasonic. When it's done, the clean instrument will be packed in this plastic bag individually and sealed tightly and will put in the sterilized machine for sterilizing. We have two types of sterilizer, which is steam sterilizer and hydrogen peroxide plasma sterilization. Once sterilizing is done, the sterilized instrument will then be taken out to be kept in the supply room. And this is autoclave tape and label used in OT. They work by changing color after exposure to temperatures commonly used in sterilization processes to indicate whether a specific temperature has been reached. The blue horizontal color bar on the label will change color to black after steam sterilization process. Now we are in the OR room, which is the operating room where the surgery takes place. And I have Nurse Jennifer with me here today to share on her daily routine and her job scope as an OR nurse. Hi, I'm Jennifer. Today I'm going to show you a few things, but before that, I'm going to tell you our routine early in the morning. We will do damp dusting where we will have a damp towel to clean all the areas in the OT room before we are going to use it. So here, with this use, a machine that we call as an ventilator machine where people will use it to monitor the blood pressure, oxygen, and heart rhythm. And also, we have two different types of cases which deliver through breathing circuit straight to the patient through this mask. So patient will be lying down here and this mask will put straight on their face. Now we have this bed. This bed is called a surgical table where it can be adjusted and positioned according to the needs of the surgery or according to the purpose of the surgeon. So here let me show you that it can be tilted all the way to the right as well as to the left, up and down. The purpose of this tilting is for the surgeon to have an easy access to the certain types of surgery. I see. So next, Nurse Jennifer is going to show us how to do the setting of the instrument for the surgery.
I guess you know better now how OT looks like and how it functions. And do check out on our previous episode. I'll see you on my next video. Bye!